Hello all you YouTubers out there. I just wanted to do a review on my 2015 Hobie Pro Angler 14. I've had this kayak for about six months now and I uh, just want to show you some of the modifications I've done to it to make it my own. Uh, we'll start at the front with some nice shark teeth on it. Uh, changed out all the bungees to orange. I think it's a little more visible to other boaters and I think it looks good personally. Uh, we'll start with all the rod mounts and whatnot. I went with Scotty. Um, Hobie makes bases that work for these Scotties. Um, they're very solid. I've used them on my other bass boat, which I've sold to go to a kayak solely. Um, I just, I'll, I really like it. I don't regret it one bit. Uh, got me a bait board um, perfect for an Apple iPad if you got Navionics you can set it on there or cut your bait do whatever you need eat your lunch on it multifunctional uh, change the strap out underneath the seat to bungees to help secure my other tackle boxes um, for larger crank baits and whatnot the smaller management system doesn't really hold enough but it works good for the ones you want close at hand. Uh, here's my anchor trolley. How I got it set up. Um, I just put 15 feet of cord on my anchor and tied loops at three foot increments. Um, I can adjust the depth that I want to hold my anchor at just by using different loops. Um, on the anchor itself um, you've got to do this on these. Uh, set it up with basically a trip clip um, if you don't do this, you will find yourself leaving your anchor at the bottom of the lake at one point in time or another. Um, I use a, one of them rubber band bracelets to secure my anchor when I've got it in my crate so it doesn't come open. Which brings us to the next item, my crate that I made. Um, I actually got two crates, cut portion of one off, and use it as a lid um, kind of get to show you some of the other items I put in here uh, this is my Leatherman always put a float on your items unless you want them to sink to the bottom of the lake uh, my stringer um, rod holder for my bait caster and for my fly rod uh, my stereo which I've got bungeed in it's good to have tunes on the water um, this opens up with some a hinge I made out of rope. Um, keep other items in there along with my hog trough. Um, Got to make sure your fish is legal size. Uh, here is my spear gap I made. When you tackle larger species on the water that you plan to take home, you want to incapacitate them before you take them on board. Uh, you can find yourself cut up pretty bad, be it with say king mackerel or even large catfish uh, put a scotty mount for my rear flag made that flag myself using some property markers um, put some reflective tape bought me a flag also this is my gopro mount that i made following some instructions online um, use the scotty base scotty gearhead mount um, works great and uh Here's a ram ball mount that I bought for the tip. Um, this system here gives you a view a viewpoint from about five feet off of your kayak. You get some uh, great overhead shots and whatnot. Um, anyway, uh, if you're going to go with Scotty mounts, you're going to want to buy several of these little items here. These help you fine tune your Scotty mounts to whatever angle you might want them to be at. They're not expensive. A couple dollars for a pair of these. Anyway, um, the trailer I found online for 150 bucks. Uh, a couple pieces of Unistrut and a couple pieces of PVC pipe later and I've got a trailer for my kayak. Um, this front hatch is fairly large. 
um, pretty much larger than anything else in the industry, I guess you could say. Um, a couple more boxes for crankbaits and top water. A couple more extra shots of rope. Um, emergency equipment. You always want to keep that handy. Um, can't say enough about the Mirage Drive. Very efficient mode of transportation. Um, it's easier than walking. I've paddled for five miles and woke up the next day and was not even sore. So um, if you got any doubts about this device, uh, I'm here to say it works quite well. Um, but this is pretty much what I've done with this kayak to make it mine. Um, I've never come across the time whenever I really felt the reverse that other kayaks might have is really that necessary. Um, the assault paddle I bought really takes care of that necessity. Um, this is a great kayak if you uh, are on the line deciding which way to go. This one gets my vote. Well, I hope this answered a lot of questions and gave people good ideas. Um, I'll catch you next time.